Treasure map <laughs> Jumping straight into it, starting off with the first mini boss. This team is two special zero supports, very fast. Stage one Caesar, he's also gonna be used for an optional conditional boost in the final stage. So make sure you have his double special activation potential ability maxed. Stage 2, Luffy for a wave flare as well as a attack boost for the final stage. It gives us for 3 turns, so it's going to last until the final stage. Then on the final stage, we have to deal with special bind, burn, enemy damage reduction, and enemy defense up. So, Carrot's going to handle the defensive effects on the enemy. Uh, Chopper's going to handle the special bind and the burn. As well as inflict 30% of uh, resistance down for Psy units on the enemy. So that means our Psy units are going to be dealing 30% more damage, so that's awesome. Carrot is going to be dealing... Uh, I mean dealing with the damage reduction with the captain ability and the defense up with the special so her level number break is required unfortunately <laughs> don't click on the video the other teams are more accessible um, which also gives a 2.5x or boost 2.25x if you don't have a level long broken uh, well you're not going to be using it if it's not level long broken because then the team's not going to work and then we'll have the attack boost from the Luffy so overall a uh, 1.75x attack boost a 2.5x or boost a 30% enemy resistance down and a 2x conditional from Caesar. So very strong team. You can add the support of Treasure Map VV to uh, get, I mean, Treasure Map Barracud VV for a 1.3x color affinity boost to those free spirit Psy units. But it's entirely optional. You don't need it, but it's nice to have. So a very nice team. On the revive, the enemy is going to revive with 1.5 mil. Just use the special of your Miyork, that'll kill the enemy instantly. There's no normal attacks only, luckily. Then second team here, this team is very big brain, uh, I put a lot of thought into this one, uh, so you, you'll see that there isn't a bottom right unit, and uh, bec that, that's because the enemy is going to swap your bottom right unit to your captain uh, on the final stage, so just to completely avoid that and not have to waste time with that animation of the captain swap, which takes quite a few seconds, we're just not going to run a bottom right unit, so that should completely negate that, the enemy will just pass that since there's nothing to swap into your captain. Um, Oh wait, maybe they'll swap your, your empty, no, no they won't do that, so they, on stage 1 we're going to use the super swap of your Shanks crew, I mean your Kaido crew, that's going to get them into the quick form, and then on the second stage use the special of Iso, that's going to wave flare, and give us a 2 turn chain lock, that's very important, that means it's going to last until the final stage, just after the enemy's preemptives either will go away, but that's important because the enemy is going to give us a very weak chain lock on the final stage, so that's going to completely negate that, we can ignore that. Uh, the what's quite ironic is that the uh, treasure map Isho from the last treasure map is actually a recommended character, but he's a lot worse to use than this Isho because it's a lot slower. You have to act, you have to activate another special, and there's also the whole captain swap that you have to deal with when using him. So this one is a lot better to use. And then on the final stage, we're gonna have block orbs. The enemy's gonna have damage reduction. We have already gone around the enemy, I mean, the chain lock. So just use Big Mom Special, that's going to change the block orbs into matching and get rid of the enemy's damage reduction. And then also give us a 3.5x chain lock and inflict the enemy with 1.3x increased damage taken. So Big Mom is very good for this. Not only is she a boosted character, but she's going to also get around basically everything. Then we have the support of Dofi on her for a 1.75x or boost for our characters. And then if you want to, you can also activate the special of your Kaida crew for a 2x color affinity and a 1.75x attack boost with the smoker support. So two specials, two supports, but at the start of the treasure map, it's only one special, one support. You don't need uh, your Kaida for quite a while. And then even if you need more damage, you can activate the special of your uh, arena. No, no, no. I don't know where he's from, but that Ashura Doji, he's going to give us a defense down conditional attack boost and a base attack boost. So this seems very good to uh, units that are boosted that have type advantage. They're going to be dealing insane damage. It's very fast. Two specials, two supports. Obviously, you can remove smoke if you don't need it for the damage. But overall, this team is very nice. And let's get into the next one. So against Kidia, this team is very... This is the easiest mini boss, I must say. Because if you just run a radio pirate as your captain, that's already all the debuffs. Uh, so let's take a look at what he does. <laughs> Everything Shining Screw just gets around. So he is a... The most annoying thing here is that he changes either into strength or in type. So make sure your team is an even split of quick and psi characters to make sure you don't uh, you don't fumble when the enemy changes to a type that you isn't that isn't good for your team. So make make sure there's an even split so that it doesn't really matter. Special bind captain just gets around it with Shanks crew. Lock slots the special of Shanks crew. Uh, the chain lock Shanks crew gives a chain lock that's gonna work perfectly with those chain attack downs. 
And then there's also resilience, which if you didn't know, showing screw does end turn damage with this captain effect. Just make sure you hit one perfect and you'll be good to go. So basically how this works is stage 1 brook to get around the turtles, stage 2 is more special. On the final stage, just swap your captain, shanks crew and then you use their special. Their super swap is automatically fully charged at the start of the battle. So just make sure you use their super swap and then the special. That's going to give you a 2.25x attack boost, a full board of matching orbs, a 3.75x chain lock, as well as a uh, 2x color affinity boost. And then there's also the optional support of VV for a 1.75x or boost as well on top of that. So you basically have everything under the sign here besides a conditional attack boost. But we have three units of each type that are fully boosted. So they're going to be dealing insane damage. You don't really need a conditional attack boost on this team. So there's nothing really too much to this team. Uh, if you find a better team, then go ahead. You really only need to run a radio pirate and then some wave players, but that's about it. Then for the team versus Kuma, so this team is very good. The only issue here is that there's only one boosted unit doing damage, but there's still three other units that aren't boosted but still have type advantage. So I think this premium team is very good, especially since we have a conditional boost as well as a base attack boost. So how this team works is on stage one, we can use Kuzan special to wave clear. On stage two, we can use Eneru special, not only to wave clear, but also to give us two turns of cooldown, which is necessary for Robin and Jimbei to be ready on the final stage. But also he cuts our HP in half, which is going to be required for our conditional boost on Perona. So, Inaru is there doing a lot on stage 2. Then on the final stage, there's a bunch to deal with. 5 turns of attack down, uh, 6 turns of enemy damage reduction. We also have to deal with uh, 1 turn of special rewind. So, Robert and Jibbe is going to get around all that. The 6 turns of damage reduction, the 5 turns of, of attack down, and the cooldown. They're also going to give us a base attack boost of 1000. And then we can use the captain effect of your Kuzan. He has to be level of break 3 or higher. Because then he's going to give us an instantaneous attack and all boost on the final stage. And then finally we can use Perona. Who's going to get around the unfavorable orbs. She's going to change them into matching. She's also going to give us a 3.25x chain lock. And also she's going to uh, give us a 2x conditional attack boost. So you need that inner to get the conditional attack boost. So it's two specials, zero supports, very good. More is there just as a damage boost, as a, uh, a boosted unit that's dealing damage. So you can put whoever's your strongest internet that's boosted uh, and just put your other support or your strongest stack boosting support to make sure they're hitting like a truck. Also make sure you're running Laboon Ship, otherwise this team won't work. And then for the final boss team, this team is very good. On stage two, we're gonna use the special of our um, the numbers from the point even island. They're gonna go around the three turns of despair, as well as the paralysis. But let me just get this quest alert so I can see the debuffs. My Wi-Fi is not working again. But honestly, the the final boss and intrusion this time around aren't too hard actually. They make it very nice for units that for people that don't have the new batch. So on stage two, your paralysis and top row despair. The numbers units are gonna get around that. Just make sure you use uh, you make sure that you hit two perfects on stage two because the numbers special will give you a 1.2 chain boost in the following stage if you do hit those perfects, which goes very well with the chain boundary effect from Bonnie on the final stage. So obviously we are running Bonnie as a friend captain, that's quite obvious. And then on stage two, yeah, we're also gonna use the special uh, of our um What's his face? Sober Mask. That's going to give us a 14 attack boost for the final stage. Also, Sober Mask special activated at the start of the quest uh, with his captain ability. And that's going to give us a all boost for the stage 2 as well. Unfortunately, it won't last until the final stage, but it's still going to help us on stage 2. Then use Garp for a color affinity. And that's about it on stage 2. We have a attack boost, all boost, and color affinity, which is more than enough to kill the enemy. You can also activate the special of your... Um, what's his face? the uh luffy the one kid for a few recovery orbs to make sure that you actually can kill on the second stage with the uh unmatching orbs but he also um garp also gives himself a matching orb so that's fine just make sure that you have your luffy the one kid special activated and you'll have your right orbs changed to recovery and then your garp can be on the left hand side since he's already giving himself a matching orb uh, as for dofi he d he's not even having tab advantage so it's fine if he doesn't have a matching orb so stage 2 here is very strong, we have 4 units with matching orbs, type advantage, attack boost, orb boost and color affinity. Then on the final stage, we have quite a few things to get around here, but it's honestly not too bad. The biggest thing here is the enemy's 100,000 fixed damage upon death. And uh, that's why we activated Luffy Long Kid on the second stage, not only for the matching orbs, but if we hit three perfects on this stage, then on the final stage, we're going to get a 99% damage reduction, which completely gets around that uh, enemy fixed damage. Um, 
I, I don't know why I put the Mr. 3 Sport there. If you don't want to use that Luffy Long Kid, then you can use Mr. 3 Sports to get around half of the damage, which usually should be enough. Then we're going to use the Dofi Special for getting around the uh, 5 out of the 6 turns of the bind of the sockets, the 5 turns of attack down. He also gives a base attack boost for your uh, for your numbers character, but no one else gets it since it's only 240 cost or under units. Uh, then we're going to use the special of our uh, Barney and her superclass to give us a full board of re uh, a re a recovery orbs, give us a color affinity, as well as a chain boundary effect, which goes well with the chain boost from the numbers. So very strong here, we still have the attack boost from your Sobo Mask. So we have an attack boost, a color affinity, chain boundary, and a chain boost. And also five, five of our six units have type advantage and are boosted, dealing insane damage. So we don't have an orb boost, we don't have a... Um, a conditional attack boost but it should be fine we have very good chains so that kind of makes up for it uh, also the sport of halloween ace gets around the last turn of the bind then for the intrusion team here this team uses radio pirates once again and um this mini boss i mean this intrusion i was kind of scared of when i first looked at the gimmicks because there is a two turn barrier on the final stage and I hate how they always have a two-turn barrier, but luckily the booster this is actually very good this time And we have two free-to-play characters here that are gonna get around it two very old characters that you should have by now So uh, Izo is gonna get around one of the two turns of the barrier But she's they're also gonna get around the six turns of the threshold and also change the block orb into matching Then we have Moria who's gonna get around the uh, last turn of the barrier and also get around the enemy's uh, five turns of enemy defense up. So they, the, both of them work very well together to get around everything on the final stage. And obviously if you're running Radio Pirates as your captain, you can get around that special bind innately. Also if you're using Radio Pirates, you can use this special for a chain lock and you don't have to worry about that chain coefficient reduction. Um, after that, uh, we're going to use on stage three here. Uh, we're going to use the specials and the super class of your Barney to give us a full board of matching orbs, a chain boundary effect, a uh, color affinity boost, and that's about it. We also have the special of Luffy, Low and Kid, which you don't really need to activate. And then we have the special, the supports of uh, Corazon and Barney to get around the six tons of bind on the second stage. Also, on the final stage, Radio Pirate special is going to give you a uh, chain lock and a color affinity. And then uh, the support of Sober Moss is going to give an all boost, and then the Super Swap is going to give an attack boost. So Radio Pirates is an all in one unit, giving an attack boost, all boost, color affinity, and a chain lock. Very good. Um, that's about it for this quest. Very good. Um, this team is, should work perfectly fine. The only issue I see here is that the um, there's an interrupt for the ch for the the chain lock on the final stage. So actually you want to be using Bonnie on the final stage and then Radio Pirates on the second stage. Sorry I got that mixed up. Because Bonnie's super class is going to get around the interrupt. So make sure you use Radio Pirates on stage 2 and then Bonnie on the final stage. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.